Today in this video, let us learn about batch determination with remaining shelf life. This video focuses on batch selection with the remaining shelf life only. For the batch management configuration, you can refer to the configuration video mentioned in the above information link as well as in the video description. For better understanding, let us take an example of a business scenario. There are a couple of batches produced in different time periods. A few out of them have 30 plus days of, days of validity and the other batches have more than 250 days of validity. As per the business strategy, the batch that has less validity is sold out first. In short, first in, first out basis. However, in some cases, other batches are sold out as the customer requests batches that have more than 250 days of validity. In order to realize the above business requirement, below are the prerequisites that must be set up in the SAP system. In order to achieve the above business requirement, we can use the standard characteristics LOBM, MBDAT, VFDAT, LFDAT and RLZ characteristics. You can use these characteristics in the CT04 transaction. Execute CT04, enter the LOBM underscore RLZ and click on the display button. Click on the dependency icon, select dependency and click on dependency editor. You can find a function in a dependency editor which is a role player to calculate the dynamic shelf life date for the batch determination. Create a batch class in CL01 transaction, enter the LOBM underscore VFDAT and save the class. This characteristic holds the actual remaining shelf life date maintained in the batch master. Create a batch search class in CL01, enter the characteristics LOBM MBDAT, VLFDAT, RLZ and VFDAT. These characteristics help to run the dependency object syntax to derive the dynamic shelf life date as per the remaining shelf life days maintained in the batch search master. Maintain the batch search master in VCH1 with the combination of customer and material since the customer request is unique from the usual business strategy. Click on the selection criteria, assign the batch search class and maintain the remaining shelf life in days with the required comparison parameter. Leave the other characteristics blank. Assign the sort sequence on the remaining shelf life date and save the batch master data. This activity must be performed to the requested customers. As you can see, the overall master data assignment looks like this. Let's check the result in the outbound delivery now. Create an order for the same material and then go for the delivery creation for the customer work. As you can see, the system has filled the expiration date with the comparison parameter according to the remaining shelf life maintained in the batch search master. The system could find only one batch as per the selection criteria. In the same way, create a sales order delivery and check the results for the customer too. The system could find three batches as per the selection criteria. So this is how we can achieve the business requirement with the standard approach. Stay subscribed for more latest videos. Thanks for watching this video. Shining off.